What's going on guys? Welcome back to Fishing with Norby. We are doing something fun today. We're going down to Weiss Lake, jumping in a crappie tournament with a guy named Harold. You get to meet him here in a little bit. But just picked up the truck. We got an oil change here at Gilbert and Bob Ford. Come by and see him. I got Randy here with me. How are Andrew, you? Andrew, how are you? I'm so you go well. fishing today? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. Well, the weather will be a little bit nicer for I you. I hope so. It's yeah. pretty windy and rainy today. It is. Well, a real fisherman's out there today. <laughs> I'm out there a lot of days like today. <laughs> I know you are. Man, it, it gets cold on us. Yeah. Cold and windy. It's not as easy as everybody thinks. That's right. I can imagine. Yeah. You get <laughs> some crickets and worms. That's yeah. it. We're going to yeah. get out there. That's right. We're going to, we're going to do it. Right. We don't have to. We're going to need to get my grandson to bring him with us. We're going to have some fun. Bluegill spawn's coming yeah. in. That's right. You I guess they are. You know more about Some of those bluegill beds but yeah yeah well i know you're buying a lot of vehicles right now we so uh, if you guys live in north alabama come see gilbert and ball ford tell them a little yeah. bit about what you're looking for you know we're, we're buying andrew we're buying everything we're, we're buying we're buying the lower end cars and trucks we're buying the higher end stuff okay but we're and we're paying top dollar for everything of course okay no, it, it's not a secret yeah the inventory's low yeah and especially the new new Fords and new all the new brands, uh, Chevrolets and Toyotas, and we're all uh, inventory low, so we're really okay. paying top dollar for everything okay. we get. Yeah. Well, if you're interested in selling your vehicle, now's a good time. Come come see Randy here. Tell him Norby sent you. That's right. And uh, yeah, we'll go fishing. Sounds good. I might have to look into selling you an upgrade in mine. That's right. There we go. We got the new Gilbert Ball logo on there. So, Albert. all right. Yep. Here, right here in Albertville. Alabama. Come see, come see Randy. So, all right, guys, we're gonna get on down to Weiss Lake, catch some slabs. Let's go. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Give me some. Guess. The last guest. <laughs> Guys, I have a crazy story to share with you that happened today. Started on the way to the tournament, the drive over, something with my truck, and it's a big God story. We're going to tell the whole thing to you at the end. Let's get to fishing. Okay, guys, we are sitting here. Got Harold with me. How you yeah, doing I'm glad to be here, brother. Hey, <laughs> Proud to be here. It's going to be a fun day. It's going to be. Look at the sky in the background. It just looks oh, beautiful. Wow. It is just gorgeous out here. Yep, we're here. Sun hasn't even started to come up yet, really. It's 610, and we can start fishing at 630. 630. And we got to be off the water by 3. 3. We got to be quit fishing at 3. Okay. Way ends at 4. That's plenty of time. We gotta put seven big crappie in the boat. Big ones. That's right. <laughs> big, ones. big ones. We're going for those three pounders today, not the tree pounders. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun. We're, we got some minnows with us, so we're gonna start out with jigs. We're gonna put some of that secret scent on them and get to fishing here. I wanna show you what we're sitting on. We're kind of, Hill brought me to a secret little tree here. Right. So we'll show it to you on live scope here what we're looking at before we, we start fishing. Let me pan over to it. There it is right there. A little lay down coming out. You can see there's fish on it. So we're just, we're waiting to drop our jig down in the middle of it here. We got some fish up top right now. And they're gonna bite, they're gonna bite. How big was that one you said you caught the other day? Right here? Two pound, four ounce. All right, let's go. All right. <laughs> okay, we got about 10 minutes. Gonna juice up with the thump gel. Throw it on our jigs this morning. We have to put it on everything. There we go. What are you throwing? Yeah. A little fella I won last night. All right, I like it. There you go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. And I'm going to go ahead and stick it on my other rods, too. We got a single jig rigged up. 
I got some double jigs, double jig rigs. I'm just gonna drop a single jig down in this tree. I don't want to get stuck. Right. Throw the big old ACC jig at them sometime today when we need that upgrade. <laughs> got a couple of those rigged up. You ever seen those? Yes. They are sweet. That thump gel stays on there about, I don't know, stays on there a while. Where do you get it? Uh, thumpgel.com. Um, and then you can just stick it in your pocket. <laughs> yeah, it looks good. It sure looks good. It's about to turn 6.30 real soon. They're roaming through here. I don't know why they're not sitting still for us. There it is, 6.30. Got one. Oh, he's stuck behind a tree. He was on there. Dang it. He got me wrapped instantly. Gosh darn it. First drop, he hit it while it was dropping. Ah! <laughs> now I gotta he rig up. He, he's to find out straight there. under us. Let's try the jig first. Well, we both got stuck our first two drops. We're in the, we're where they're at. <laughs> All right. Okay, dropping back down. This time I'm doing it without split shot, I think. See it? It's dropping down there. <laughs> you got a bass. That's a spotted bass. <laughs> Giant. First one of the day for it. <laughs> yeah. No joke, he is tiny. That's crappie color. <laughs> I got him. You got him? I got him. Alright, good one. He come off? Dang. Shoot! You on? I'm right there. Yeah, you, I'd say you're in there. Going back down there. Yeah. Gosh. I'm gonna look back just down here. Where'd they go? I don't know. There's, there they are. Go? Nope. Got one. Good one. Good one. Good one. That was a big one. I watched him come up. Come on. Be that two pounder. Yeah. Oh, it's a catfish. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> no wonder he felt good. Oh, thank you. Gosh. Well, we've caught a channel cat. We've caught striped bass. We've caught a spotted bass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, it might be. I thought that was gonna be a, the one we needed right there. Yeah, I thought that was a keeper. All right, make one or two more drops and we'll. Whatever you want to do. All right, we got yeah, we got plenty of time. <laughs> Dang it. Ah. I got a thing in my pocket. I got a thousand, like, I think, how many hundreds I put in here for $50 a piece? Yeah. There's a $100 one, $500 one, $1,000, <laughs> a $10,000 one. Nice. Yeah, I saw him like that, and I just laid it down front, and he grabbed it. It was a crap. There he is. Is that right like that up there, Jesse? Yeah, that's fine. I got one. Right under us. Hey, hey that, that one might measure. I'll knock him out first. Yeah, that one don't keep. I don't know. We might have got our first little keeper. We, we can't have any. Yeah, he's ten and a half. Yeah, <laughs> well, we can't have any that size when we go to weigh in, but we'll stick him in there for now. Number one. <laughs> okay. Well, I'll throw up here with you for a second. I'm gonna just skip mine. There he is. All right. Little guy. Well, he got a little bigger. No, he's not going to be 10 inches. Check him, but I doubt it. <laughs> they're all up under this dock. Yeah, they're all up under this. It's really not that many on it. There's one. Yeah. Oh, get over that. Oh, come on. Behind the wood there. Come on. Let's go. There we go. Ah, it's all good. Yeah. Uh, crazy big, but we'll take him. 11 inches. Here's a starter. It is a start. <laughs> you you don't normally set it when they hit it that first time? Yeah. But okay. Quick. Yeah. You didn't hold on to it. Dang. He did? I got him. Nice. There you go. Ooh. He's going to be close. Yeah, about nine. Real close to nine and a half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Oh, you're fine. He is nine and a half. Nine and a half. That's not going to do us any good. Like over here, you'll be real close to nine and a half. <laughs> yeah. Good job. <laughs> yeah. A lot better. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A lot better. Get him. Get him. There you go. Maybe. Maybe. I'm 
just going to get stuck on your rod, I guess. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. You like those nine and a half, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. That's what you want to see. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're 50 feet out. Let's see. Come on. There he is. You got it? You stuck. Uh, I got the brush, but boy, it scared me. <laughs> I bet it did. I do got it. You got one? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like... <laughs> you, you set the hook you set the hook and it you hook you pinned him up against the pile huh I do it felt like a bot didn't it <laughs> yeah that's funny good job he's gonna measure huh ten and three quarters if you want to stick I've been sticking a coal tag on him stick number three on him on the left there Yeah, we got to call him out. Oh, he's behind the log. Come on. It's a good, oh, it's a catfish. Really? That's the second catfish I caught today. <laughs> wow. Can you believe that? It's like full of, I'd say. <laughs> wow. Well, if he can see it, old crappie can see it. 35 feet. Got him. Good one. Yep, yep. All right. Oh, that's a big one. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> All right. That's a little better quality. 13 inches. All right. Let's go. Thank you, Lord. Number four. That's it. That's it. Got him. Another one. Good one. I don't know if he's as good as that last one. No, he's not. Oh, <laughs> he's decent. <laughs> he's fat. Ooh, I got him in the gill. They say anything about weighing in dead fish? Yeah, you gotta keep them live. He said, if you got a weaken, let him know. Okay, look at that. I think he's good. I think it just popped out of place. Okay, 12 incher. Back to back. Hey, back to back. They're biting over here on this side. 
Got him. Oh, biggin. Oh, biggin. Come on, buddy. Yes, thank you, Lord. Yeah. I watched him eat it. He hit it so hard, I didn't even feel him. I watched my bait go like this. He knocked slack in it, man. <laughs> Look at that. There's a 14, 15, 14 incher. Yeah, man. Yes. Oh, Let's go. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Big and number six. Number five's doing all right. He's doing all right. I don't think I'm going to hit the rocks. Yeah, I could. I could just drop them. That's a weird angle. I want the boat to be facing the pile we're casting at. They've all hit that bottom one right there. A little bit bigger. Uh, put a little, little thump gel on it. Yep, yeah, we'll hit that bottom. Yep. Yeah. And I, I've been jigging it when I come over their head. Yeah, I know. You're just blind casting. That's not fair. I have five like that and two 15 inchers on Gunnersville in the last crappie tournament I fished. Got one. And I got second with 10 and a half pounds so that's why i'm like i don't know if that'd do it <laughs> let's go it only takes one pile <laughs> but we do need some big ones but we got our seven now that's the fun part now's the fun part we gotta start weighing them That's our little guy that goes back next. For this lake, we're doing pretty good, huh? Interesting. Got it. Number two came off the coal tag. We're gonna have to fish for him. Thank you, Lord. Get out of your way. Oh, you're not in my way. If I don't want you to get in my way of getting that net. <laughs> 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 you go, I, got him. I hope so. He's a good one. <laughs> I got thousands of them. Well, there he is. Yep. Nah. Eh, he's decent. Yeah. Got him. Oh, boat flip. How about that for a boat flip? <laughs> <laughs> boat flipped him off. Wow. <laughs> All right, first coal. <laughs> we'll have to go digging for the one we're calling, though. It's either this one. Oh, watch your foot. Watch your foot. You're stepping on it. You're good. All right, I don't know which one we're calling here. Yep, this one's going back. That first one of the day. Okay, thank you, Lord. You want to try those trees? Or what are you... I think if we go back where... I was tipping it with a minnow and I missed three in a row. I think those are 15 inch plus fish. I think those are giants. Just getting, getting one to bite. I got one following me here, little guy. There he is. Baby.
Yes. Oh, I thought he was going to be big. I did too. Well, I think he's going to coal. I'm pulling again the trees or something. <laughs> I think he's going to coal. Because when I pull... Oh, man. Let's see. What do you think? Those, those are our smallest two. What do you think on these? I think your white one's probably a little bigger. <laughs> Close, baby. White one's thicker. He cold, barely. Was that on just a minnow? No, I got jig on. You got a jig on too? Good job. All right. You're good. Getting excited here. I need to pick one of them big ones up. I know it. That's going to be it. Oh, he's following yours. He's following yours. He's got it. He's got it. Oh, no, he didn't. Did you see? He's got it. He's got it. Lift up. Lift up. Got yes. It. The last cast. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Give last me some. Cast. The last <laughs> cast. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some. What a way to end it right there. That's that's some big crappie excitement. Wow. Last cast. The last cast, literally. Because right now, oh, we still got probably 10 seconds. <laughs> 10 seconds to left. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, good buddy. job, Harold. That's going to be a good coal. We're calling out number three. Here's the coal right here. It's your white one you just caught. Look at that. All right. That's the coal, guys. That's the coal. We needed seven this size, but we'll take we'll take what we got. Happy to have what we got. It's been tough today. Woo! <laughs> oh, good job. That's exciting. I saw him chase yours, and then I saw him go above your weight, so I thought he had it and knocked slack in your line. Okay guys, <laughs> we called out in the last seconds of the day with probably our biggest crappie of the day, so that was exciting. Don't ever quit till the end. Don't quit, because that just might be when your blessing's coming. So, we definitely got blessed today. We got seven in the boat. They're all over 11 inches. Most of them are 11 inches. We got a couple that are maybe a 13, maybe a 14. But we're going to go weigh in and see how we did. Fun day on Weiss. Fun day. It was tough. Tough. Uh, Harold had been pre-fishing all week. And most of the fish left, like, just were gone. These crappie move a lot, so we had to find them. But I'm excited. Let's go weigh them in. fun day of fishing guys we had 750 something 76 something like that and we ended up getting ninth place pretty good in a crappie usa tournament i think there were close to 40 boats but i want to share a crazy story from today that you guys did not see something that happened uh, on the drive down this morning it was dark i left super early i left at 4 a.m drove down to Weiss the morning of today and my tire light came on. My tires started going flat and said low pressure. So I got out of the truck, I looked around all four tires, I'm towing the boat, you know, and and no tires are low. So I'm like, all right, I'm good. I, it, light stays on the whole drive. I drive all the way down to Weiss and we get there, we put the boat in, we fish all day, take the boat out at the end 
and my front left tire on the driver's side was almost all the way flat. And so we rushed over to the gas station, filled it up, went to weigh in, weighed in, then Harold took me to a steakhouse. We got big old ribeye steaks, super nice of him. I paid for it and everything. He didn't have to do that. He paid for the whole tournament. He didn't have to do that. I tried splitting it with him. But anyways, we get out of the steakhouse after having some pretty cool godly conversations, sharing some God stories, and my tire's about flat again in just that short amount of time. So I'm like, okay, it's leaking pretty good. Through the parking lot of this steakhouse is a gas station. I drive right over there, fill it up, about to drive an hour and a half home, and the quarter machine takes a dollar. I look in my change thing that's full inside my truck. I only have 50 cents in quarters. So I grab some dimes, some nickels. I walk into the cash uh, register and there's a guy in there with his hood up and he puts he puts some, some change on the counter. I didn't know what was going on. And uh, I heard, heard in her say $1.38. Uh, I'm going to put it on the pump, something like that. And he walked outside and I, I thought and felt that if he's paying a dollar thirty-eight to fill his car up with gas, I felt the Lord tell me to give him twenty. So I, I asked the cashier. I asked her. I said, "Did he just give you two bucks to fill his car up?" And she said, "Yeah." I said, "Make it twenty-two." And I handed her a twenty. And I walk out there. I get my two quarters uh, for the air pump. And I walk out there, and his car's already starting to pull off. He didn't even know. So I, I knock on the trunk of his car, and tell him I, I just paid 20 bucks to put in your car and he gets out and he's he's crying and and talking really high pitch it emotional gives me the biggest hugs tells me thank you so much you have no idea I'm going through so much thank you so much and amazing amazing so I got to pray with him there asked what I could pray for him laid hands on we prayed for him guys and just encouraged him the Lord opened that door so then I go back put my quarters in I'm filling up my tire with air and I feel the Lord tell me give that guy a hundred bucks and then share the verse with him that talks about uh, the birds of the air how much more if the Lord takes care of the birds of the air how much more will he not take care of you and so I'm like okay I'm gonna do it that's awesome and his car starts pulling out. So I dropped the, the air tank. He waves at me. I say, hold on a minute. He didn't see that. He, he was about to go, about to pull out in the median. And I'm walking over to his car, and he starts to pull out. And then he sees me. He stops. He's like two foot out into the road. And he opens his door. I said, the Lord told me to give you 100 bucks. And he, he lost it. He's crying. He's, he's sobbing. He told me he had just been praying so hard for the Lord to help him. He didn't know what he was going to do. He'd been pouring his heart out to the Lord for the Lord to help him get through this. He'd been homeless and he didn't know how he was going to do it, how he was going to make it. And so I got to encourage him with the Lord is going to give you favor. The Lord's going to give you a hedge of protection. The Lord's going to provide for you. He's your provider. I got to share the verse with him about how he takes care of the birds of the air. How much more will he, he take care of you? And just encourage him. It was amazing. Uh, and so I thought, here, here's what's funny. I thought, God can use a nail in my tire to not really mess up my day, but to make it to where a little nail is going to uh, speak a life into somebody. God can use a little nail. How much more can he use you and me in other people's lives? And it got me fired up. So emotional. I'm crying with this guy. And then I get home and I grab my my uh, plug. I'm going to put a plug in the tire. I'm looking for the nail and I see this rock that looks a little deeper than a, uh, a rock normally gets stuck in your tire. I'm like, what the heck? And I fill my tire up and I listen right next to that rock. Sure enough, air is coming out by that rock. And I, I it takes me a minute. I finally get that rock out of there and it's a piece of gravel, probably from my driveway. And look at that thing, guys. Look at the corner of that. See it all black from my tire? That's the actual color of the rock. It's still got black on that side. But that is what caused my tire to leak. A rock. Took two plugs to 
plug my tire. I got it to quit leaking uh, with two plugs. But then I was like, God didn't use a nail to help that young man. He used a rock. The Lord is the rock. He's my rock. He's my refuge. He's the cornerstone. And what a God story, guys. He used a rock to make my tire leak. And I, I want to share a verse with you. Isaiah 28, 16 says, Therefore, this says the Lord God, Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation, a tried stone, a precious cornerstone, a sure foundation. God's timing is perfect. He knew all that had to happen. He put, he literally put, Jesus put the cornerstone in my tire so we could help that young man. That was amazing, guys. God is the cornerstone. Jesus is our cornerstone. He, he is the peace that we needed. Uh, so just be encouraged with that. If you had a tire going flat, are you going to think about this story now and say, you know, God can use anything. He can use me in any way to accomplish His plan. But He's not going to use you if you're cussing that tire and cussing the flat tire, you're angry, you're mad about your day because it didn't go right. God might have put that rock in your tire for a reason, guys. So just want to encourage you with that. That's a huge God story. And to cap it off, I tell Harold what happened. I call him up, I tell him, and he says, the church across the street, you won't believe what it's called. It's called The Rock. The church across the street from the gas station where all of that went down is called The Rock. Right in center Alabama. Amazing. God is so good. Give God glory every day, every situation, and you will see His will through. So be blessed, guys. Such an incredible day. Cast your cares on the Lord. He'll sustain you. Psalm 55, 22. We're going to get out of here. Subscribe for more videos. If you're interested in supporting my YouTube channel, you can do that. Link down below. Patron. Become a Fisherman Norby patron. Help keep these videos coming out. Pay my video editors. But we're going to get out of here. God bless you guys. We'll catch you here on the next episode. Fishing with Norby.